I am so food. Megaden, he tagged me in a video, so I have to do this video. And it is 10 video game questions. I have them written down. We're going to go off the cuff. Why the hell not? Because you know what? Let's sometimes ramble. Let's do this. Okay, so I have seen this in a lot of other videos, so I kind of already know the, the story of like a lot of people, but you'll get my story. So 10 questions and then you tag somebody. Let's go. Let's see. Number one, what type of games do you like to play? Platformers, action adventure games. Ooh, I've been into RPGs and horror games. Um, I would have to say platformers. They've always been my go-to. Mario, Crash Bandicoot, different things like that. So yeah, we'll go with platformers. Second is, ooh, action adventure. Two, how much time on average do you spend playing video games? Oh, this depends on if I'm working or if I am on vacation. So if I'm on vacation, it would be 40 hours because <laughs> I can put in a lot of hours into the gaming uh, to get all of the games that I want finished. If I'm working... About 15 on average, 15 hours, depending on the week. Number three, do you think video games are educational or can be educational? And that is a yes. Um, I don't even need to hesitate because there's Orient Trail, which actually are educational games, but there is educational purposes in a lot of the games. Like, for example, Bully. Uh, Bully has, you go to school, you'll do your classes, so you'll learn about chemistry and math and spelling. Legit, there's spelling in the game, and if you don't want 100% it, you don't have to do that, but you still have to go to class or you get in trouble. So a lot of people just get past the school part and immediately go into just being exploring the outside world. But I actually did a lot of the classes. I almost try, I try to get a, you know, 100% on my achievements, but it just doesn't work like that, so... Sometimes you gotta finish your school. <laughs> Number four, what don't you like about video games? Ooh, okay. A pet peeve of mine is tutorials you can't skip. Sometimes I don't need a tutorial. I already played this series, the franchise, and I don't need, you know, like, how to do it. Like, yeah, I, I need a tutorial for some spots and stuff like that for, like, a game I've never played before. But if I play the franchise, give me a skippable tutorial, please. I, I don't want to do this all the time. Uh, another one is downloading an update every five minutes. I hate going into, I work, I want to go home and I go to turn on the game and I'd be like, okay, I'm going to go to Xbox One or I'm going to switch over to PS4 or whatever. And I'd be like, oh, sorry, there needs to be an update for this game. Give me five minutes. Let me download this update. I'm like, okay, shit. Oh, well. I guess I'm not gaming tonight because this update saying it's taking an hour. So yay me. Those are two fun ones. But uh, so the next one is how much do you spend on average for video games? Um, about a hundred, hundred and fifty on average, depending on the month. Now, if I overspend and I go past my hundred dollar mark, I do carry it over to the next month. So like I got Boulder's Gate three for the deluxe edition. And the shipping from Larian Studios, because they're international, was about $200. So I carried that over to the next month and didn't buy anything. Uh, favorite console? Mm, PS2. I go with PS2 because it was my CD player, my DVD player. It was my all-around go-to. I still have a PS2 to this day. I play a game every month on it. And I've played games that I always play, like my go-to, like, GTA 3, I play Resident Evil games, I constantly play them, and it's backwards compatible, so I can enjoy a lot of the PlayStation 1 games that I have. Uh, favorite video game in general? Ooh, this is hard because I did a top 10, but I beat a lot of amazing games this year already. Um, you know what, I'll just shout out a couple good video games from each console that I played and enjoyed this year and will probably be on my top 10 and my go-to's for my retro stuff. Um, Crash Bandicoot, that's a definite. I like the one through three. Uh, Resident Evil, one through three, definite for sure. Um, Tony Hawk, one through three. I like all the th first three are good. 
Uh, we'll go with Bully. I just mentioned that. Bully is great. Um, we have GTA 3, GTA Vice City. Great games. Um, we also have, I'm looking at my game collection right now, Final Fantasy 1. I, I beat that. Even though it was originally on the NES, I beat that, uh, the Remaster Pixel Remaster. That is a good one. Um, if you're going to go with Educational, we have Oregon Trail. See, it's so hard to pick a, a favorite because now my list would change for my top 10. And that's that's the one thing. So, uh, okay. Um, next is favorite video game movie. Ooh. Um, Mortal Kombat, the original. Not not the 2021, but the original. That is my go-to. I enjoy that. I'll watch that all the time. And then we'll go with um, Double Dragon. I love me some Double Dragon movie. That is a go-to as well. Okay, next is favorite video game character. Mm. You know what? Let's go with Crash Bandicoot again. Crash Bandicoot is my go-to because... Not only is he great in the actual, like, the franchise, like, he does amazing, you know, like, stupid dances and different things in the video game. He had commercials that were legit in the parking lot yelling into the void at Mario. And it was just like, what the hell is going on? He did the, the shenanigans that I love. So before anybody else was doing that, Crash Bandicoot was, oh my goodness, just OG boss right there. And the very last one is least favorite, like, genre of video game. Probably would have to be a shoot 'em up Like, I have to be really in the mood to, like, want to drain my energy. To, like, be frustrated and yelling at the screen. I just finished a shoot 'em up and I said I was going to take a break right after it because I bought the Genesis Collection, Classics Collection. And I finished a, a shoot 'em up, and I'm not lying. Like I was like dead ass tired afterwards. <laughs> I was like, nope, no more. I'm taking a break from shoot 'em ups, unless it's like actually in a video game, and I just happen to be it's in a separate level. I will play it, but yeah, I'm gonna take a quick break. It's kind of like RPGs. I take a break in between, but I can play another RPG back to back if I have to. Shoot 'em ups, I cannot for the life of me. I have to, not first person shooters, shoot 'em ups. I have to just take a break in between. So, yeah. But there is my video game questions, top 10, fun, all that stuff. So, if you are not sure who's going to be tagged, give me some guesses in the comments below. But drum roll, please. The first one is going to be Chris James. Chris James, let me know your question answers. And if you're going to do the video response, tag me, please, if I list you off. Next is going to be Peter, Wave in Games. What is your answers? Let me know. And the last one is going to be Do You Nerd? Have you got your answers ready? So if you have been tagged already, you don't have to make another video. Just uh, thank you for watching the video. Uh, if you are new, please consider hitting the sub button. It does help out the channel. And if you're about to roll out, give it a like. It helps out the algorithm. And I'll catch you next time. I'm going to drop links for Dan because he had his video and he tagged me. You can watch that. I'm going to drop links for all the people who are in my tag. Please go check them out. And if you are rolling out, catch you next time. Play some video games and I'll see you next week. Bye. Another gamer gal, she's playing all, all night From Vimmage to modern, she's the queen of the fight From in San Diego to Grand Theft Auto Streets Or even trail to Oregon Trail, she's got the beats Stand back, she's got the game she need a hand with VHS recording, she's in command From 8-bit wonders to the latest craze Linda, the gamer gal, she's here